Hi. Hi, yeah, Willem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I heard that you are the project manager of Virtual Power Plant Project Citizen in Amsterdam. And I was wondering, could you please tell me something about this virtual power plant and what it's all about? And the virtual power plant, it's a community of households in the neighborhood of Amsterdam New West. And they all have uh, solar panels uh, to produce their own electricity. And they have now also a battery to store their own electricity. And uh, we combine these 50 households to one community. And that community makes it possible uh, to store maximum uh, uh, solar energy, but also to trade on energy markets and also to support the local energy grid. Uh, through solar, there there are more peaks on the on on the grid from uh, production, local production on is like midday when the sun is shining, and um, uh, if, if we use these uh, and, we, and we add batteries, it's possible to uh, absorb that peak so that we can store the energy. If you look at at citizens, what then is in such a virtual power plant for them? Why do they want to become member of a virtual power plant? Um, they increase their, their, their own energy consumption, first of all. They, they, they will use more of their own solar energy, of the, the solar energy of the community. Mm -hmm. It makes it possible to uh, store their energy when their battery is full to store it at their neighbors. That makes it possible. It makes it possible to, uh, to earn some money also. If you can trade on the energy market, you can earn money as a, as, as a, as a customer. It's not possible right now, but with a virtual, uh, virtual power plant, it is possible. Um, and they make it uh, possible to uh, help us as a grid operator and, and thereby helping themselves as a customer of the grid. I think if you see that people invest money in PV panels on, on the roof, how does that fit uh, with, with the virtual power plant? Uh, they increase their own consumption, but uh, they are st still connected to the system and they make the system. They are, they are the system as a virtual. Uh, power plant and um, uh, so uh, you can use more of your own uh, production as a community you're also helping the bi the bigger system also I think to make to to keep the energy system um, cheap or as cheap as possible you need to combine all these forces for the bigger bigger system okay yeah I'm, I'm also wondering if you look at the more environmental side of it, the environmental impacts uh, then you say that uh, people can get uh, some money also uh, out of the virtual power plant and it's maybe good for grid uh, uh, stability but where does the, the environment come in then? It makes it possible um, to re use also uh, solar energy on, on moments when there is no solar. In, in, and now we have to use uh, solar fired power plants or gas and, uh, fired uh, power plants to uh, produce energy uh, at six and seven. The upcoming years, we still need them, but we we have to make it possible that eventually also these uh, uh, um, uh, coal-fired uh, plants also can be shut down, and then you need the flexi flexibility of m uh, multiple uh, battery systems to um, to meet the demand of energy also at six at night or eight at night. Yeah, and that makes it possible to really increase the adoption and the consumption of uh, 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 sustainable energy. And so, for example, if these uh, citizens, if they want to increase their self-consumption in a virtual power plant, well, you think, no, we should really focus on the, the net stability or the environmental impact of, of this power plant. Um, how do you then make a choice in that? We, we are now currently on the, in the project with 50 batteries in Amsterdam and we're testing all these phases. We're in the current phase is more on consumption, maximum on consumption. Then we're looking at community consumption and the next phase is on trading. And at, at the end we want to know what the community wants, uh, which parameters are more important. Are on consumption important cons uh, or uh, community important or just money, energy trading yeah, yeah. or just maximizing the grid. I don't, we don't know yet. I think the community has a a big role in that to determine which is what which are the most important parts of an, such a virtual power plant yes yeah okay and so for example if these uh, citizens if they want to increase their self-consumption in a virtual power plant well you think now we should really focus on the the net stability or the environmental impact of, of this power plant um, how do you then make a choice in that 
uh, or organization, Aliana, is, is here to facilitate the energy transition, not to determine which way the energy transition will go. Um, and uh, our only main focus point there is to, um, uh, to do that at its lowest soci societal cost. We have to adapt on the future and we want to know where the future will be headed, but we don't know yet. So we're testing and we're doing pilots such as the Forage Your Power Plan to investigate these roles. Okay, so my last question is about uh, the future, of course, and I wonder what kind of future do you see for virtual power plants? Is this uh, something that everybody will be involved in or is it something for the lucky few maybe? Um, and is it something local? Is it global or whatever like that? Uh, I hope in the, at the end that everyone can participate. In the, in, the, in the early years there will be the people who can invest the money in, in battery systems. But at the end it has to be uh, available for everyone in our community to really succeed in the energy transition. You can't complete the energy transition with just a lucky few. You need everyone to change and everyone to uh, cooperate or be part of that energy transition to really get the, the, the Paris goals in 2050. You need them yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. And what then is the role of Aleander, to summarize? Our role is just to fa facilitate that transition and to uh, have a, have a, have a and, and do that with a grid that is stable and do that on the lowest social, uh, social cost as possible. That's our role. Okay, thank you very much, John Willow. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.